Welcome friends, I'm here with yet another simple topic, how to password recover Cisco switches. And what I have is another Aruba switch that I could show you how super duper easy it is to password recover from it. Process is simple and same for 3810M and 2930F and M series Aruba switches. So stay tuned. I am dedicating this video to one of my co-worker. She just received a couple of these switches from me and I intentionally left the previous config. She hasn't started working on it, but I mentioned that she will be needing to learn how to recover a password. So let's see if this will help her. So on the left you see that I have the console and I'm in the privilege privilege exact mode on the Cisco switch uh, keep remember the name switch too and um, on the right side I'm going to show you that I am powering down the switch powering back on and pressing and hold the status button it's a the small round button on the top left of almost all Cisco switches keep your eyes on the system light while you are pressing hold that button within about 15 seconds all the lights will have a orange blink and your system light will blink green now at that point you know you are in the password recovery state well it seems eternity when you have to wait 15 seconds so I'm, uh, let's just wait Keep an eye on my console as well. It will indicate that you are in the password recovery mode. My green light is blinking steady. So let's see the console. So here you are in the password recovery mode. It is telling you to initialize the flash file system. So I'm just going to simply type flash init. It will initialize the file system and then you will be able to access that file system like the flash just like in the regular running you could just do fla dir flash colon and will show you what files are in it so let's just wait for this to initialize i'm going to speed it up it takes about two to three minutes all right i believe it has finished initializing the flash let's take a look um, I do see I have config.txt now that's your running config and I do have other older um, configs in there uh, remember the config.txt you can rename it so let's rename config.txt to config.old uh, I'm not sure um, let's do yeah, old one dot txt. It is not txt, folks. It is txt. Remember that. Don't mess that up. So config dot old one dot txt. So what I did, I just took the running config, rename it. At this point, my switch does not have config.txt means it does not have a running config I could simply do boot and it will boot the iOS so I'm going to speed this up it is just a usual boot you are into the BIOS mode per se and now you are loading the application I will come back when this is done switch will be in just like a brand new switch out of the box you will see the host name switch that's why I ask you to remember the switch name of the actual configuration which was switch 2 so
all right finally switch is coming back and you will s soon see that it is pretty much in back to factory mean doesn't have any running config asking you to whether you want to continue um, initializing the configuration dialog nope let's take a look at the flash um, so now you see the flash file I don't have any config file running config which is config.txt if you were to write mem right now it will create a brand new config.txt all right so your switch do not have a start of config and uh, we are going to manipulate this config.old1.txt file remember that file has your configurations per se all of it all you need to do just change the enable secret so we're going to rename it to config.txt and at this time if you try to load from start up to running config it will not work so let me show you one more thing the difference between my startup config difference between my running config so startup config all this you can see the enable secret file on the line also I have few more lines which is not necessary for this video but let me show you my running config which would be completely blank um, pretty much no config whatsoever and um, that's the difference you know just wanted to show you though I do have still my existing configuration it's in the config.txt name but I will need to load it in my running config so as you see the VLANs are there on the running config because the VLAN.dat file is still in the flash and that's where it reads off of it that means the VTP mode is not transparent it's either server or there is um, it's either server or it's the client in a transparent mode your VTP line configurations are embedded in your running configuration so you can see the password if I look up secret in the running config I don't have anything but in the startup config I do have it so it's still in the config.txt so let's load it up can I load up startup now well no I can't because switch did not know that config.txt while it is it was loaded so I'm gonna have to just load this config.txt from flash just like copy you know copy flash file name to running config let's let's go and do that one I think I got a cold I'm pretty slow in typing today all right now that's done oh think about it now you are into the privilege exact mode you can go into config mode you have your running config voila you can change it now now you can see in your running config you have that secret password you just loaded it from your flash file it is very easy just I think job is done. We're going to go into config mode and we're going to go ahead and change that enable secret. That's it. Save the config and we'll just log out. And voila. I have successfully broken the password. Good to know. Save configuration. And. Um, well that's it my friend that's pretty much all about it as simple as that iOS XE has some few more steps I'm gonna try to get hold of an iOS XE device to show you password recovery on those uh, which would be your 3650 and 3850s your new 9300s 9000 series catalysis switches I will try my best to get hold of one of those and uh, make some videos and that should be all for the Cisco let's talk about Aruba Aruba doesn't have an enable secret it has an operator password and a manager password a manager is with full level 15 so what we're gonna do we're gonna have a line for manager password 
and as you log into a switch by default operators don't have password and you would be asked to put in the manager password to get into the config mode so let's take a look at it let me add a few notes while I'm reloading this switch just just wanted to show you that it is not going to stop and go into password recovery mode even though recovery mechanism is enabled it will simply load and you will be back to your switch prompt with uh, con running configuration and your newly created enabled secret password that you now know and you can get into the configuration mode so I'm just going to fast forward this stage to show you that and moving on to Aruba The quest never ends let me just show you before I move on to Aruba so here you go back to switch 2 just gonna put the password and voila Cisco password recovery successful finally let's move on to Aruba password recovery so I'm connected to my Aruba 3810 using console asking for username I'll just hit enter it is not going to let me in but I'll go ahead and put my password and it will so I know the password. Let me show show you the running config. I have the password for the manager. I'm using the username root, and um, you see the manager configuration gets totally erased when you do the password recovery on Aruba switches. Let's log out, and I will show you the recovery process. Here I have 3810M. I'm using a 1 16th inch Philips head. I want to show you there is a clear option. There is a pinout hole and there is a reset pinout hole. So we will be using the clear option. Uh, meanwhile, take a look at this system light on the right side. Just go into just like a Soho router. Press in the clear pinout and you will see the light blink on the right side. Just wait couple of seconds and let go see what happened on my console okay so I'm going to hit enter it is not letting me but as soon as I hit enable it will see you will see that it is going to just and it let me in no password needed let's look at the running config and you can see there is no such manager password let us go ahead and log out and you will see there is a configuration difference and it's going to ask you okay so do you want to save it I'm gonna say no I'm gonna simply go back into the login mode and show you I hit enter and I will be in the privilege exact mode there we go directly it's no password needed so as simple as that guys just like a Soho switch it is going to let you in without password if you just press and hold the clear button on Aruba switches now the reset button if you press and hold the reset button it will wipe the configuration how easy is that I mean man Aruba made it so simple you just have to have physical access to the box and you are in no problem whatsoever the goal was to show you how easy it is to recover Cisco switch password and Aruba I hope you have learned something out of this video please give it a thumbs up and you know leave a comment those are very valuable to me 
and uh, give me a bit of encouragement to see what I should make next. I appreciate you taking your time, looking at my channel, and I'll hope to see you soon. Thank you.